Baldwin won a district championship for the first time in school history this year, thanks in large part to a defense giving up just 14 points a game. Tonight, another playoff-bound team hosted the Indians. Ninth-ranked Ed White has overcome a midseason injury to quarterback Isaiah Teal and found a way to win. This would be a good postseason preview for both teams. To the west side we go. White up 14-0 at the half, and the white drum major laying down the beat. Commanders with the ball, facing third and two, the ball to 30. Benny Lewis takes the handoff out of the shotgun. Looks like he was shot out of a shotgun himself. Scores easily, 20 to nothing White. White now deep in their own territory. High snap, they can't handle it. Baldwin recovers at the White nine yard line. Baldwin facing fourth and goal on the ensuing drive. With the White defense looking for the shutout. They make the goal line stand and they are fired up. Late in the fourth quarter, Joseph Williams puts this one away. A 36 yard touchdown run. White gets the shutout. They win convincingly 28 to nothing to wrap up the regular season. Reigns taking on west side. Wolverines in the red. Reigns first possession, no score. Third and 13 for the west side, 16. And Tyron Randolph runs the draw, and he is in. Touchdown, Vikings, 8-0. Reigns with the lead. Second quarter, still 8-zip. West side deep in their own territory, facing third and long, and the corner blitz gets home. West side forced to punt deep in their own end, and that does not work out well. Snap is way short of the punter. Rolls into the end zone. He's tackled for a safety. Time for a safety dance. 10 0 range. Ensuing free kick. Kyle Gilliard takes it at his own 30. And the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. And he goes right through the coverage team for the touchdown. Flipping his way into the end zone. Reigns goes on to the victory. 32 to nothing. It has been a very un Bowls like season for the Bulldogs. After losing some key players last season, Bulls face a very challenging schedule and taking it on the chin, including last week's loss to Bishop Kenny. Looking to clinch a winning record, the Bulldogs hosted a 7-1 Gainesville Buholtz team. Another tough matchup. To San Jose Boulevard, we go. Bulldogs in the orange tops, Matthew Toblin's team. Trying to make a statement here. Bulldogs down 6-0, punting from near midfield on 4th and 22. Buholtz roughs the kicker. Flag flies in, and it's a first down for Bulls. The offense would cash in. Kayvon Miller in at quarterback. Bulls his way in from three yards out. The Bulldogs take a 7-6 lead. Bulls back with the ball at the Buholtz 12-yard line. Quarterback D.J. Moore under duress. One arms the pass to Caleb Lampkins for the touchdown. Bulls extends the lead, 14-6. Second quarter, same score. Buholtz fourth and goal at the two. Creed Whittemore would sneak it in for the score. Bobcats cut the lead to 14-13. But Bulls would answer. Facing fourth and eight, Buholtz 23-yard line. There's fourth down. Moore finds Naeem Burrows, corner of the end zone. Pretty pass, pretty catch, touchdown. Bulldogs pull away in the second half and win it 49-28. Big win for Bulls. Wolfson taking on Inglewood. The Wolf Pack trying to handle the Rams. First possession for Wolfson. Deep in their own end, Brady Nelson rolling left. Fires for the sidelines, but Jalen Scarver is there for the diving interception for the Rams. Inglewood takes over at the Wolfson 32. Five plays later, it's third and goal from the six. No array around left end. And he walks it in for the score. Rams offense takes advantage of the turnover. It's 8 0 Inglewood. But the Wolfson defense would keep fighting from there to keep their team in the game. Elijah Robinson with a sack. And then on the next play, Jefferson Lamone. More of the same. Wolfpack behind their defense rally to win it. 17 16. Wolfson finishes the season at 5 and 5. When we come back, one of the best stories of the year continues. Jackson looking to run their winning streak to nine games in a row as they travel the first coast. It would be easier said than done. That's next as Football Friday rolls on.